how to fix SIM card not working or network error after you perform a software update on your Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Plus or the Ultra and you cannot make calls, send SMS or connect to the internet. A number of things that you can try to uh, fix this issue. Let's do some uh, basic checks first. So after a software update, try to restart your device. A simple restart often resolves temporary uh, software glitches. So we can press and hold on the side and the volume down button. And here, tap on restart. And this will allow your phone to restart. So give your phone a restart and see if that fixed the issue. Next, we can swipe down at the top, then tap your phone and tap on airplane mode. So turn on airplane mode. And then after a minute or two, switch off airplane mode. That will uh, re-establish the connection with a network. So give that a try. Also, another thing that you want to do is check your SIM card. So here, take out the SIM card and wait for 30 seconds or so. Make sure you take it out and then reset it. Make sure it sits properly in the SIM tray and then reinsert it back into your device and then turn your uh, phone in airplane mode on and off. Also, another thing that you can do is try to uh, use another SIM card to see if it works, to see if it's the SIM card is the issue or your phone is the issue. So you can borrow a SIM card from your friend or your family members and insert it into your phone and see if that SIM card works on this phone or not. If that SIM card, uh, you know that SIM card is working on another phone, but when you put it into your phone and your phone is not working, then it could be some issues on your device, so we need to further uh, troubleshoot the device. Next, the next thing that we can try is to turn off the automatic, automatic network selections. So swipe down at the top, then tap on the settings icon. In settings, we go down and tap on connections, then tap on mobile networks, and then tap on network operators, and then turn off select automatically. In here, go down and select your mobile network provider. So select your mobile network provider and see if that helps fix the issue. Here, I'm going to switch it on to select automatically. Another thing you can do is reset network settings. Uh, most of the time, this option can fix your issue. So we swipe down at the top, then tap on settings. Next, in settings, tap on general. So tap on general management. And then we scroll down and tap on reset. And go down and tap on reset Mo mobile network settings. So tap on that and then tap on reset settings. And give that a try. That will reset things like your Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, cellular uh, settings. So give that a try. Another thing that you can do is try to update your software to the latest version. Maybe there is a bug uh, on your system. So uh, by updating the software, that can fix the issue. So we swipe down, go into settings. In the settings page, we go down and tap on general management. And we try to look for software update. I think it's not in here, uh, could be out here. Uh, in the settings menu. So we go down to uh, software update. Here it is, down at the bottom, software update. And then tap on download and install. So I've got a new software update here. So tap on that and make sure you update your software to the latest version. Now, if you are using a specific network carrier apps, you may want to clear the cache and data for that particular app. Uh, in my case, I'm not using a specific uh, network carrier app, so I don't need to clear the cache. But uh, for example, if you are using uh, T-Mobile, uh, they have a, their own app and you want to go in there and clear the, uh, the cache. So we can go into settings. In settings, you can go down and tap on apps. 
So tap on apps in here, and then just simply open up an app. So open up an app, and then go down, and tap on storage, and here you can clear the cache and clear data. So uh, for example, if your network provider is T-Mobile, you go and open, open up the T-Mobile uh, app, and then you clear the app uh, data and cache. So give that a try and see how you go. If your phone is still not working so far, you can try to restart into safe mode. This disables third-party apps. If the SIM works in safe mode, a recently installed app is likely the culprit causing your SIM card not to work. To go into safe mode, all you have to do is swipe down at the top and then tap on power button, then touch and hold on power off, and then tap on safe mode to reboot your phone into safe mode and then check your SIM card to see if it works. And if you have tried all of that and it still does not work, you may want to uh, try to back up your device and perform a full factory reset. A uh, full factory reset will erase all your data on your device and can be very time consuming. So I would only do this as the last result. And if uh, even after the hard reset, a full reset, and it still does not work, then maybe it's time to contact your network carrier to check your SIM card, uh, contact Samsung uh, support to check to see if there's any uh, hardware issues on your device that need to be repaired. And that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any, any questions or any comments that you want to ask. Just leave a comment in the video and hopefully we can uh, get your issues uh, sorted. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos. If this video has helped you up, please leave a comment.